Man, what's going on YouTube? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I hope everybody having a wonderful day, man. I hope y'all having a hot Saturday because it is hot in Texas. I ain't gonna lie. Everything going wild out here. Uh, far as fires across the world, I don't know what's going on, but that's another subject for another day. But listen, before we get started, hit that like and subscribe button. And y'all support my little merch, man. I just started some merch, man, some clothing, so uh, make sure y'all check that out. But anyway, oh, man, Trump. Donald Trump, he just got, well, he been indicted, but you know, he took his mug shot on Thursday, you know, everybody's celebrating and stuff like that, but one of the things that I picked out and what I peeped was how the conservative party is up in black people for supporting Trump. Now, before we get started, I'd rather have Trump in the office before Biden. I ain't gonna lie, Biden left a bad taste in my mouth. Really, the Democratic Party left a bad taste in my mouth. You know, uh, how they did black people in general. You know what I mean? Um, and I wish black people would get out of the Democratic slave to the um, this particular political party. I'm not saying the Republican Party is any better. They racist as hell. You know what I mean? But for me, if I was to vote for Donald Trump, I would just for the immigration, what's going on out here in Texas with all these immigrants, with all these uh, illegals coming across the border. You know what I mean? So I am a, I'm not really for that. I'm not really feeling it, you know. Um, and with the children, on what they're trying to do with children, trying to make sure and take these puberty blockers, I ain't with that either. So he is speaking to my best interest, you know. But I don't want to be one of these black people that were in words for Trump or blacks for Trump and stuff like that. It's just business for me. But what's funny is with the conservatives, what I'm seeing well, with the, on the Republican side that, that support Trump and all that other stuff on how they're using black people. You know, how they saying, oh man, the hood came out for, for Donald Trump. The hood loves Donald Trump. I'm talking about white people are saying this. And that's what's funny to me. Or how they saying that how like uh, the hood look at Donald Trump like Big Meech and, and, and Larry Hoover and stuff like that. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what in the world is going on? But what I'm seeing is, is what the Democrat Party do to black people. How they use black people, I mean. That's what the Dem Democratic Party do. They they say, hey, we hang with black people. We support black people. They, they say all these things for black people, but they don't do nothing tangible for black people. I think this is what the Republican Party doing. But let's not forget the Republican Party always poop on black folks also, just like the Democratic Party do. And it's just funny how they're using our slogan, our slang, our ebonics, everything just for that. You know what I mean? So it's very funny and enlightening. Then another funny thing I saw was uh, one of the conservative people was saying that reason why black people support Trump because they understand that you know how the system is against black people you know how the how the judicial system or the court system is against us which is true the court system is against black people and, and, and that's not a lie or a joke but they know this but they never done nothing to change it but they'll use this not non-tangible words but they'll say this yeah black people understand what Trump coming from because he got indicted it's a lot of black people get indicted that haven't done nothing compared to their white counterparts. So, yeah, they understand where Donald Trump is coming from. And that's the game that they running. And I hope black folks peep that. You know, like I say, once again, I know I'm sounding contradictory in this video, but I understand. But please understand that what these people are doing, it's all a lie. It's all a con game. It's all a lie. Everything they saying, it's just game. It's just propaganda. It's all political. You get what I'm saying? Because once the, the election over, they're going to start pooping on black people again. Because they're not offering nothing to us tangible anyway. They they offer something for everybody. Don't get me wrong. There was benefits when Trump was in office. You know what I'm saying? For black people. Uh, for me personally. Just for me personally. i seen a couple black people that's just around me came up off Trump. You get what I'm saying? Not just the PPP loan. You know, a lot of people from... I get that way everybody, all black people like because of the PP loan, but... Not just even because of that. It's just like a lot of black people took the opportunity to start their own businesses under Trump. Now, me personally, the reason why I think that because anytime that black people are against the wall and we have no out, we always thrive better under pressure. 
So I think a lot of black people at the time when Trump got in office, they were scared of what was going to happen. So when you're scared, you start to start to uh, fend for yourself. You start to work for yourself. You start to build for yourself. Instead of thinking that the Democratic Party is going to help you because when Obama was in office, we were lullabied. You know what I'm saying? We will rock to sleep, you know what I mean, under Obama, you know, and he didn't do nothing, you know, so. Um, but yeah, man, it's, 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 it's very comical, it's very funny, uh, and everything, and, and for me personally, we all see what's going on. We all see that Donald Trump is ahead of everything, ahead in the polls, ahead of, pu I mean, research, everything, everybody rocking with Trump, because this administration has shown its true colors. There's anybody could be Biden, in my opinion. You get what I'm saying? I'm not a Biden supporter. Biden probably be the worst president since Ronald Reagan, in my opinion. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It, it just it just don't make no sense. Then, like how Biden looks sick. It look like he's not there. Might he might have all times. I don't know. But it just looked crazy to me when I see Biden and just like Donald Trump made that joke about how he can barely walk in saying, you know, Donald Trump is funny too. Let me say, I like, his personality is funny. I ain't gonna lie. Even though I think he is a, a white supremacist or whatever, but at the end of the day, he funny. I ain't gonna lie. We can't knock it. He funny. Even when he was in office, when he was tweeting and stuff, he was funny as hell. So, but in closing, Black people don't fall for the okie doke. And hold on, let me say this too. And I have seen a lot of videos where black people in general, not because of Trump going to jail, but a lot of black people in general are supporting Trump, which is a good thing. That just shows me that black people are looking past the Democratic Party, which is a good thing. Because we are not enslaved to the Democratic Party at all, because they haven't done nothing for us. And for me personally, if I can get a little extra finances, that's all I care about, really. Finances, the immigration part, and kids protecting children from, you know, what they're trying to do to these children, make these children, they, well, saying that it's okay for children to take puberty blockers and all these other things, or children to transition. Or my daughter, if she want to go in the gym, I don't have to worry about a man saying that he's her, but he's not her, biologically her, he's biologically me in the dressing room with her, and I just want to make sure she's safe. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm voting for him just for that particular reason. This this Democratic Party, man, I don't know what happened to him. We giving money to Ukraine, but they won't help Hawaii. Hawaii out. Talking about giving them people $700. These people been displaced from home. But anyway, that's it. That's all I got to say. But anyway, salute to everybody that watched. And I hope y'all have a good evening, man. Y'all stay cool and safe because it is hot in Texas. Real talk. It's like 109 degrees right now. It's not even 1 o'clock yet. But salute.